So they're here, the Ed Tracker boards finally. Um, this little video is going to be going over um, soldering in the components into an Ed Tracker board. We're going to go through it step by step just so there's no misunderstanding for anybody who wants to make one up. Uh, you can follow the video and see exactly what you've got to do. And then afterwards, uh, possibly as a separate video, we'll do the um, configuration of it, putting the, the software, flashing the image into it and calibrating it as well. Um, so let's uh, let's get into soldering it up. So welcome to my table of junk. Um, what have we got here that uh, that we're going to need? Right. Well, first one is a soldering iron. Um, here you can see I've got a um, who is this? A Union Brothers BP50 donkeys donkeys years old, but it's a nice um, um, temperature controlled um, soldering iron. Um, you can. Obviously you don't need anything quite this fancy, but, but something with a, a decent small tip is going to be very useful. So if you're using a, a typical kind of uh, 10 quid from, from Maplin Jobby with a ginormous tip on it, then you might find things a little bit difficult. But um, but yeah, you can see there, this has uh, done me years of sterling service. So soldering iron, pretty essential. Uh, obviously in terms of components, we've got our board. Uh, the Ed Tracker version 1 board there. I've got a Arduino Pro Micro um, development board there. Uh, you can see I've already got the headers sold up on that. We've got a, a MPU 6050 or you can use a 9150 um, development board here. This is the 8 pin version. You'll find these um, from hobby components or uh, various sources from China or eBay, stuff like that. Uh, it's a GY521 branded um, um, three axis gyroscope accelerometer board. Some header pins for that. Um, we also need a button which has gone where? It's over here. A little tactile switch. Uh, we need some solder, obviously. Um, you might find some tweezers useful for positioning stuff, but it's not essential. Uh, the breadboard is very useful for soldering in the header pins. Um, not, not essential, but you just might find it useful. You can basically put the header pins into the, the breadboard first, put your um, breakout board on the top, and then and then solder it up nice and held, held solid on the breadboard. So you might find that useful, but not essential. Flux pen again, not essential really. Um, and the main thing that I find very useful, you want something to hold your piece of work. So you see I've got a, a pan of ice here. Um, this, this you can use to clamp up uh, pieces of work while you're working on them. Um, but, but obviously you don't need something quite this fancy, just find some way of holding it steady uh, while you work on it. Okay, right. So the first item we're going to solder in is the uh, tactile switch. So you can see here we've got a, I've got a fairly tall one here, which is quite useful. Um, um, but you can notice it's slightly rectangular in size, so it cannot go in the wrong way. Um, pop that through the board. We've got our cobra facing up, so this is the top of the board here. Um, put your finger on the other side as you push it in. Uh, okay, so that's pretty solid in there as it stands, to be honest. But what we're going to do now is. Get your nice, decently looked after soldering iron tip and solder that in. Once that's done, we're going to flip the board over like so. We're going to take the Arduino development board and push it in through the components there. Winding our fingers. Like so. So there's our button. Directly rotated over is your development board. USB connector out here by the button. And then we're going to solder that in. Uh, one little technique is probably overkill on this, but um Something that's just good practice when you're doing header header pins is to spread spread the heat out so not do them all at once right next to each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this pin here. 
and I'm going to move to this pin here and to this pin here and then to this pin here and then just kind of move around them unevenly so that you're not focusing too much heat on one area of the board at any one time Okay, and then there's our board soldered in, nice and flat. <laughs> well, sort of nice and flat, it's beveled up a bit there, not bad. Um, but uh, yeah, and then we can trim these pins off if we if we want to. Um, so we can go down with some snips and just trim those off. Since this is the top side, it's not so important. These aren't going to be sticking down in your head kind of thing, but. Um, Good practice nonetheless to trim those pins if you can. So next I'm going to install my header pins for the MPU. So I'm going to have my board button side up and the row of eight headers here. We're going to put our header pins in there like so. Then obviously we're going to solder in from the underside there. So I'm just going to clamp that and solder these. Once those done, then flip it back over, clamp it up again, and then we're going to solder in place our MPU board. Install that on here. Now you'll notice this kind of flops down here. In the grand scheme of things, it's not going to make a massive deal, but if you can try and get that level like so, uh, that would be useful. So, uh, what I'm going to try and do here is apply a bit of pressure with the soldering iron tip on the base of the board just to kind of bring it up level on that first that first joint that first pin so I'm going to push down on it there take it away there we go that's pretty good it's tilted up a bit actually so let's just so we've got that about level it's not really going to matter Really, I'm being fussy over nothing, to be honest, but it um, just looks better, doesn't it? Uh, okay, and then continue with the rest of the pins. And that's it. We're done. On board. And that's how it would rest. Uh, this is generally considered the top. That's the underside. Um, what we're just going to do now is uh, trim off these pins here, make it a bit neater. And there we go, they're all trimmed now and that's a little bit, uh, a little bit neater. Okay, and there you have it, one constructed head tracker device. Um, this video we're just going to leave it at that, so this is just the bare soldering of the device up from the head tracker boards which are now available from today. Um, if you've received one then you can use this video as a, as a quick guide to how to construct it. Um, and there you go, so we've come from several months earlier making one of these little prototype boards um, to, uh, to where we are today. So um, I think I'd like to say thank you to everybody who supported us on the forums and really helped uh, get this, this little uh, project going. Uh, obviously a big thanks to uh, Pocket Moon who did the software um, and Deb Fred who organised the construction of these, these sort of professional boards for us. So, um, so give it all of yourselves a good pat on the back and thank you so much for helping us with this. And uh, enjoy it and we'll see you out there. Alpha 4 is out with us next week, so it will be a very exciting time. Uh, probably be uh, inundated with videos on YouTube. So um, till then, I shall see you later and have fun head tracking. See you in a bit.